What's up everyone, Max here, and uh, in between some of the shoots and me trying to get some video content on this channel once again, I had an opportunity to go through the previous episode of uh, Ask Max, where I had a lot of you guys put some questions and comments about uh, some things you might like to know about the production of the show, how I work on YouTube, stuff like that, any general questions that you might have. So I got a few here, and we're going to jump right into it, and hopefully you enjoy a little bit of the Street Fighter Cross Tech and Scramble Battle madness that is going on in the background. If you guys have not played Scramble Battle with a friend online, it's seriously one of the most fun things in Street Fighter Cross Tech, and, and you cannot take it seriously. Anyway, hopefully that looks good to you while we go over a few of these questions. Um, first one comes from Super Humble Warrior says, Max, I have a question. What is your logic behind the characters you pick for Assist Me episodes? I think we might have gotten this question a couple of times during EVO as well. Um, for the sake of this season, this season has very much been about the, the story and the characters that we can go based off that. However, there has been some character requests in the uh, previous episodes of Assist Me that I have changed certain decisions and adjusted the story around the popularity of certain characters, so that you might not have seen yet. And the end of this season is actually coming to a close now. So this season we had Phoenix, we had um, Taskmaster, we had Deadpool, and we had Chris. Uh, some of it is actually getting everything to fall into place, like the actors and the production crew. And if everything seems to work out, like having a good, decent costume for a character and stuff like that, something that we can work with. If all those things fall into place, then yeah, we'll, we'll work on that character and... It takes a lot of planning ahead, if, uh, but when it comes to certain other characters that I like to include as like cameos and stuff like that, it's that's specifically for the fans and uh, try to try to do our best to cater towards people that really want to see a specific character. But thank you very much for the question. It's like Hockey525 said, Max, can you share with us the worst fighting game that you ever played? Oh man, um, the worst fighting game I've ever played. I that that's tough. Uh, I would definitely have to say it'd have to be one of those Xbox One fighters. Like, there were some fighters that were on the original Xbox that were only for Xbox, and they were made by, like, Microsoft Development Company, or whatever the hell it was It was called back then. Um, I, I would say one of those games, I can't even remember the name, I think Boktai, no, that's not the name of it, it was something else. I would also say, I, for the Super Nintendo, when I was really into, like, Killer Instinct and Mortal Kombat 2 and Street Fighter series, I bought a game called Rise of the Robots. And that game was complete ass. Like, it was so bad. Even when I was, you know, a really young kid, under the age of 10, Rise of the Robots just sucked my butt, dude. That game was horrible, and it was just bad through and through. Check it out if you can. I think you guys might have actually seen some... There's some videos on YouTube of Rise of the Robots. It is, an, it is a horrible game, and it is touted as much by everyone else who plays it as well. Uh, MVS Koner, or Counters says, uh, Max, do you still work for Capcom? Um, no, not not currently. Well, I never actually technically worked for Capcom. I've never been um, a full-time employee of Capcom. Capcom's brought me on for certain gigs. Like I worked, I worked contract labor. So, in, in the event that somebody wants me to do work for them, but not a full-time employee, you work under contract and you fulfill a contract and you provide assets, and you know that's that's about it. Uh, I did that for Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, I did that for some Street Fighter Cross Tekken stuff that they had, but uh, Cross Assault was actually not me working with Capcom directly when I worked with Cross Assault. It was actually the iPlay Winner crew that was hired by Capcom, and iPlay Winner brought me on board to do some video work and some hosting work and, and stuff along that nature. So I've only worked with Capcom a couple of times for Street Fighter Cross Tekken and Ultimate Marvel 3, but... Who knows, I'd love to work with them again in the future. Uh, about getting a full-time job, I I don't, I don't know. It's, uh, they are up in San Francisco, so I'd have to, like, move completely. But to answer your question in general, no, I, I don't. But I have worked with them for certain gigs in the past. Um, Darkwind2127 says, Max, you have brought up in the past that you've played and enjoyed the Smash Brothers series. What stopped you from making some content? And now that Sony is coming out with their own version, what are your thoughts? Uh, I really liked the Smash Brothers series. I, when the GameCube was out, I was really into the GameCube version. I really liked Melee. I had a lot of fun with that game. Um, I had a lot of fun using, like, Marth and characters with counters and stuff like that, like the more fighting game-esque characters. 
But when it came to um, Brawl, I was so excited for Brawl when it came out. I actually had a Japanese Wii and a Japanese copy of the game so I could just play it early. And um, it was it was an absolute blast for like two months, and we played the crap out of it for two months, and then it just kind of died. And I never really understood because I wasn't super competitive with the Smash Brothers series. However, I mean, I quickly learned about things like tripping and how how the game is specifically designed for a non-competitive level, and that kind of bugged a lot of people about it. So I'm a bit I'm a bit upset of where the Smash Brothers series has come because Melee was such a good game. Um, but regarding Sony All Stars. Uh, I'm a little little iffy about Sony All Stars only because of the cast of characters. Like I get attached to specific characters in fighting games, and that's when I really want to dig in and learn more. I'm kind of different than how than a lot of people. So if there are some characters that end up really intriguing me in Sony Sony All Stars, I want to get into it. Uh, seeing Heihachi was actually kind of cool. Nathan Drake makes me kind of anticipated for you know seeing who's in it. That's why I'm really looking forward to later character releases for All Stars, so I can kind of know a little bit more about it. Um, my playtime with the game has been very brief. I played like one game of it at EVO, and my conclusion at the end of that is that it's not Smash Brothers. Like, it's it's absolutely not. It, it looks like it, it sounds like it, but when you actually sit down and you play it, it's it's not a Smash Brothers game, and it takes a little bit of adjustment because there's not many games like this one, like four-player brawler fighters, so I'm definitely going to be picking it up when it comes out, and you can expect video content on this channel as soon as it does, because I'm, I'm pretty anxious about about the final product. Uh, Culb J asks, are you left-handed? <laughs> and is your real name Max or Maximilian? Uh, for the first question, no, I am uh, I am right-handed. Uh, it's, left-handed is actually kind of a funny question, because when I, when you hold an arcade stick, and with some people that are, that, that play cross-handed, kind of like Seth Killian, have to hold it a certain different way, like you use your right hand on the joystick, and your left hand on the buttons, and I've actually tried doing that a little bit in the past because I actually have a uh, a small, because of my left hand, a small um, like disability. Not really a disability, but it's like a fighting game disability. It's something that makes it really difficult to do certain things in fighting games after like a couple of games or after a little bit of period of time. Um, it's weird that it's my left hand because my right hand is my drawing hand, and that hand has gotten like the most workout of. <laughs> Of anything, I would swear this hand is like deteriorating after so many years of drawing and stuff like that. But it it, d it does just fine. I just have this weird crick thing in my left hand where when I move the joystick in certain directions, my 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 wrist just goes nope, you can't do that, and it's it happens every once in a while. I can play for long periods of time and stuff like that, but you I haven't really mentioned this to a lot of people, and you guys might not notice it. Uh, which is a good thing, but when I play in fighting games, I have to specifically not do something or avoid something because of that. And I don't think I'll ever actually say what it is, because everyone who fights against me from this point forward will just do the opposite of that, and it'll make me impossible to do anything in, in any of the fights. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that as it is right now. Uh, regarding my real name, no, my real name is Maximilian. Um, my, my parents gave me an awesome name. I've always really liked my name, too. Uh, except when I was younger. I really disliked my name when I was younger because that was the cool thing to dislike your name when you were a kid. But I really grew into my name, and I really am proud of it, and I'm proud of what my, that my parents gave me this name. So, yes, it's, it's Maximilian. Uh, Gordaton said, Hey, Max, are you going to do the Online Warriors of Tekken Tag Tournament 2? Or at least any videos of it? abso freaking lootly Um... Tekken Tag 2 looks so much fun, in my opinion. That game looks like it's absolutely crazy with the tag mechanics and the huge amount of features that it's going to be bringing to the console fighting version. Uh, that hasn't been a really great console version of a Tekken game in a while. Um, Tekken 4 left a lot to be desired. Tekken 5 was pretty good. But from that point forward, man, it was just... Tekken 6 was, was okay, but the online was very lacking. Stuff like that. I, the last Tekken I really, really, really put a lot of time into was Tekken 5 Arcade, and before that, even more time into Tekken Tag Tournament 2 and Tekken 3. Or, I'm sorry, Tekken Tag Tournament, the original, and Tekken 3. So, yes, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to Tekken Tag 2. You can expect a lot of videos as soon as they come out. Don't expect me to be a grizzled Tekken veteran, because, as, as you guys know, from the original Tekken Tag 2, when they went into Tekken 4, the style of the game changed drastically, and it's remained fairly similar between Tekken 5, Tekken 6, and now Tekken Tag 2, but it's I'm, I'm kind of used to old Tekken, like the Tekken 3, and Tekken 2, and Tekken Tag, so 
Granted, it's been so long, I don't remember that stuff, so nonetheless, it'll kind of be like a revision, or not a revision, kind of like a relearning experience of the Tekken engine, and hopefully there should be some pretty fun videos as well. Uh, Xylus3 said, still waiting for the week of Ami versus the Bubbles. <laughs> Would you guys actually like that? Because I've been considering doing that. I, my dog does some pretty weird things in the house, and it can be just disgustingly cute. Whenever my dog is being, like, ridiculously cute, and the dog doesn't know it, and he's just doing it, I'm, I just scream out, That is such bullshit. Like, you dog, you are being such bullshit right now. And he's doing something ridiculously cute and just staring at me. I'm like, God, he's bullshit dog. Uh, I, I just, I can't believe an animal would do this. His only defense mechanism, mechanism is that over the years of evolution that this creature has existed, the only defense it's, as, it's acquired is that it's cute as F. And the humans around it can't bear to kill it or have other animals kill it because it is so damn cute. That's all it has. That's all the dog has is that it's, it's just cute. So I'm thinking I might have to do something like a week of Ami, like a week of, uh, the dog doing weird stuff, and just make a few short videos that you guys can watch every day for a full week. If you actually want to see that, leave a thumbs up or a comment below. Uh, it'll give me some good motivation to make those kind of videos and actually put some of this stupid stuff on camera. Uh, maybe you guys might enjoy it. Miles Peterson says, So Max is part of a team, right? He obviously... Uh, he obviously doesn't do videos alone, not all of them anyway. If others were to pitch in, Max would likely have time for tournaments. Um, this was this was revolved around the previous video where I was explaining why I don't get the chance to go to many tournaments. Um, and the the sad part of this question, I actually answered this in the previous video, is that I'm, I'm not part of a team when it comes to the videos you guys see. I am part of a team that I was able to collect and create for the Assist Me series, and those people come and help me out for assist me episodes only. You you see those guys during during the shoots, during the outtakes and stuff like that. You see the huge process that goes into making an episode of assist me. Um, though that's my team. However, those people are only involved in assist me. They're not involved in any of the online warriors, any of the Call of Duties, like anything like that for the other videos I, I produce for other fighting games and Marvel as well. Uh, all those videos and all the content on this channel is created, produced, edited, and put onto YouTube by myself. And that's where a lot of my time goes in, is uh, editing all the videos that are on this channel, as well as trying to do something like Assist Me, and then doing other contract work on the side, and being a husband at the same time. So it's it's a very difficult balance. Sometimes it takes uh, the greater majority of my time, because it's, uh, it's very time-consuming. If you guys end up doing video editing, and you get an understanding of how long this stuff takes to actually produce, uh, you might be in for a surprise, and um, the only reason I've, I've gotten accustomed to, do it, to doing it, and I've gotten pretty fast at it, is the reason why you can see videos so frequently on this channel, like two to three uploads a day and stuff like that, because I try to make every video have something unique, like whether the video is strictly for entertainment purposes, or purposes to teach you something, or purposes to get people to understand something. Uh, each one of those I try to do, or, you know, if they're just funny in general. Um, but to answer your question in brief, uh, I'm not a part of a team when it comes to youtube.com slash miles923. Everything you see on this channel is uh, created and produced by myself. But that'll just about do it for this another uh, another video of Ask Max questions. If you guys have any other questions that I didn't get addressed in this one or you missed from the previous episode that I didn't get a chance to answer, go ahead and leave a comment below. I'm going to be making these hopefully once a week, uh, depending on how busy I get. But nonetheless, I'm more than happy to answer a lot of your guys' questions or concerns or if you're trying to get into doing stuff like this or if you're just getting into fighting games. If you have any questions about that stuff too, I'm more than glad to help you guys out to try to make the community bigger and have everybody understand things a little bit more. But until next time, thank you guys very much for watching and leaving a comment. My name is Maximilian, and I'll see you guys later.